Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of November 22nd to November 28th, 2021. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's, let's take a look at your energy, Virgo. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Alright, Virgo, first card we have here is the Ace of Cups, the Five of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups Upright, the Two of Pentacles in Reverse, the Strength card, and the King of Cups in Reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups in Reverse. So, um, Virgo, um, hmm. some of you might be waiting here for an opportunity for or for a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups showing up here. Yeah, I feel like some for some of you, somebody walked away from you and you're kind of waiting for them to return back to you. Hmm. You know, I feel like you could be the one um, to go to to return back to someone. I feel like that's an option, but I don't particularly feel like you're going with that option. I feel like you're with the strength card. It's almost like you're waiting for the other person to to make the decision. Some of you feel like the ball the ball is in their court, not in your court. You know, some of you feel like you've done already all, all that you can do. There's nothing else you can do um, except wait and hope for this person to, to choose you and to, and to return back to you, to make up their minds, to, de to decide to commit to you if, if that's what they want to do. We have the Justice card and the Hierophant, so this, these two cards represent marriage, so it could be that one of you is married, either you're married or your person is married. The Four of Pentacles is here, so yeah, I feel like you're not taking any action. You're feeling really conflicted here. I feel like there's someone who you really have a lot of love for. You, have a, you feel strong feelings for this person, a strong connection to this person. Um, but it's like something happened to, to create a separation. I feel like there was some sort of a conflict or disagreement between you two. Um, there's a big divide, a big division between you two. And with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're also protecting your heart, you know. Even though you really have feelings for this person, you have a lot of feelings for them. At the same time, I feel like you're trying to protect yourself, you know. You're waiting from, for a message. You're waiting for communication. 
I feel like there's there's an energy here of possible unrequited love or um, un, unreciprocated love here. You might feel like someone is not reciprocating or you're scared that they're not reciprocating or that they won't reciprocate. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see. Spirit, tell me about the strength card here. All right, so we have here the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Four of Cups. So again, I feel like someone is either all, they're already committed, they're already married, or someone is more focused on being single, more focused on themselves than on love. I feel like the person who you're waiting for, um, Virgo, might be someone who's more, who's all about themselves, you know, someone who, who has been rejecting you or who has rejected you in the past. Tell me about this um, Ace of Cups spirit. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse and we have the Eight of Cups in reverse again. So there's something that is unclear here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's a lack of truth, a lack of clarity. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, it's like, I feel like this person gave you the cold shoulder and didn't really give you much explanation when they left you or when they walked away from you or when they disappeared. I feel like they didn't, they didn't give you closure, you know. They didn't give you explanation, an explanation or a closure. And I feel like you you feel like there's an emptiness here or, or, or a void. You know, and it's 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 hard. It's a struggle for you to to cope with with the absence of this person because you feel like You know, the strength card is the card of the heart. So it's like they they left with your heart, you know. When they left, they left with your heart. And they left you feeling alone. They left you out in the cold. What is this ace, Eight of Cups spirit? Yeah, that's Five of Cups. Five of Cups and the King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, same thing that I said. I feel like you've been feeling pain over this person, Virgo. You know, this is someone who who you were really invested in. Who you had high hopes um, for. And you you might have really thought that this was the one for you. Maybe you didn't expect them to walk away or to ghost you, okay? Yeah, it, ca it came out of, out of left field, I think. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. Actually, let me take a look at the King of Cups. I feel like that's your energy here. Tell me about the King of Cups spirit. We have the two of wands in reverse and the empress in reverse. Yeah, it's like something stopped growing or something is stuck here. There's a lack of growth in this relationship or connection. Yeah, it's like some, some, someone didn't follow through. They left you empty handed. Yeah, I think that keep in mind roles can be reversed, okay? All right, let's take a look at the energy of your person, Virgo. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of the person that Virgo is connecting to in love for this week.
All right, Virgo, first card we have here is the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Four of Wands upright, the Four of Cups upright, the Justice card upright, the Emperor in reverse, and the Temperance card in reverse. At the bottom, we have the High Priestess in reverse. All right, so in regards to the energy of your person, Virgo, both of you have the Four of Cups energy. Actually, I feel like both of you have very similar energy, um, Virgo. You might be kind of mirroring each other. I do feel like this person feels guilty with the Four of Cups. They, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop regretting something they did or something they didn't do. They might have pushed you away or blocked you. They feel like things got out of control, things got out of balance especially with the temperance card in reverse. They feel like it wasn't the right time or just something was unfavorable. On um, um like the the circumstances around around you two were were unfavorable. They feel like they made the wrong choice with the emperor in reverse. Yeah, I feel like they're beating themselves up, you know. I think they're recognizing that maybe they were too impulsive or maybe they let their ego get in the way. Or they possibly made some assumptions that, that they shouldn't have made. They want to reach out to you. I feel like they want to reach out to you. They want to offer an apology. But they are holding back because I do feel like they're a little embarrassed or they're 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 a little like they feel guilty. Tell me about the four of cups spirit. We have the queen of pentacles upright and we have the five of wands. There might have been some sort of big fight or argument between you two or disagreement, a strong disagreement with the five of wands. Maybe it, it was um surrounding money, finances with the queen of pentacles. Um, it could be that somebody chose money or chose security, what they felt was security over, over their feelings, over, or over love. Like somebody preferred, you know, um, financial stability or financial security over taking a risk or, and taking a chance, um, with, you know, in regards to a new beginning in love. And I'm guessing it's this person with the emperor in reverse. I feel like this, this person maybe had, had, had wrong priorities. Yeah. Yeah, they had the wrong priorities here. They didn't prioritize their feelings for you. They prioritized something else, something material. All right, um, Virgo, if this reading resonates, I'm going to continue with the extended reading. In the extended reading, I'm going to take a look at what are this person's real feelings for you? What are their intentions? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.